Yo, hello everybody, welcome to the next Sweepy's commentary video. Looks like we're playing El Capitan Sweepy's versus Keblar Swift on the Mythmaker Irelia playing Cleanse into Teemo. That's um That's some high level tech that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, Cleanse Irelia is actually quite scary. I would say Teemo normally kinda fucks on. Oh, let me make sure I turn the chat box off. Don't want a hokey boy one incident. Um, Timo shits on Irelia, but with Cleanse, it kind of like, kind of changes things a little bit, so... They also have a Ghost, Ignite, Shaco Support, Tristana mid. Our team comp is pretty fucked. We have an AP Kogma bot with Sona. Um, the only AD we have on the team is Kane. Could be a bit sussy. So just going down the list of players we've got on the red team. I don't know if that's blue side or red side, but you know their stuff is red. So Teblar Swift, Zuka, O question mark box question mark box Shadow Strike three, Big Apple versus Sweepies, Owo, the Pug, X Explosive, and Hydra Dova. Uh, I think I'm just going to ward lane to start this off. Okay, we're going to want to get push with our E, so going for that. Kind of wish I took bone plating now that I see that she has cleanse. But I did not expect her to do that. I expected a, a TP, but it's okay. Solidify our push with some autos. I really was in the alcove. Okay, good damages. Oh, I wish I got an auto off there, that would have been really nice. So she's prepping that minion for Q, but... You know, we hit, uh... Two first, because we solidified the push, so it doesn't really matter. Mm, could have done that a bit better, I believe, but... Now that we hit two first, and we have Pryo in the lane, we'll go ahead and slow it down. I do see Kane invading, so... Need to be prepared to help him out if I have to. Okay, I would have been quite surprised if she popped the cleanse on the Q there and went for an all-in in this wave, but you know, people have done crazier shit. Kane looks like he wants to dive this. Very good. Just had to make sure I didn't get hit by the uh, E there. Get Kane the kill, quite good. She's no TP, so I'll just go ahead and get these minions. Hit a uh, level four. Make sure this next wave fully crashes. Very good. I have to be a bit to care now. I mean, I really used cleanse. I don't know if she used flash, but either way. I'm um, gonna have to be a, just a bit careful when we get back because we're no sums. Can still lose the lane, you know. We didn't get that kill, so it's not like it's completely won by Amptom. Walk up, please, says Sona. Aggro, Sona style. You are full, huh? Damn, Sona dies on the way back to lane typing. Classic. This is why you don't type like that. Just, just play the game. It's on the game. Well, you have to be mad. Looks like Tristana is kind of dicking down our cannon. See what the I really has been doing with the wave. Looks like she's just stacking a slow push. The worst thing that could happen is I die while this wave is coming into me, whether that's just getting sold by Aurelia or ganked or something. So we'll go ahead and play a bit safe, even though I don't think she'd beat me. Just to make sure something terrible doesn't happen. Looks like I have Kane coming up, so... I don't think you needed to flash her. Maybe she would have been able to get away, but... Good baits. Go ahead and go slow with the wave from here. Um, it's still on its way to me. I really is no TP, so we'll just freeze it out. In this position, I'd say one melee and the three casters are good enough to freeze. 
Just do a little face tank so it doesn't go too close to the tower. If you let the freeze go too close to the tower, melee minions will like ignore your melees and run into your casters. And if that's in tower range, um, the tower starts shooting the melees and it unbreaks your freeze. So just do a little pool to guarantee that it happens. Aurelia is roaming to Kennen. Kennen flashes forward. Hopefully he does actually kill Tristana. No dice, but you know, he didn't need to flash forward like that. Plus, I really was on ward for a while, so I'm going to go ahead and hold my freeze. Him dying there is like not really my business. Not my fault, I should say. It is my business because, you know, I really killed him, but not my fault. Um, somebody needs to come over top lane. They can't just let this wave be frozen forever or we're getting more farm than they are. If I'm farming top and my teammates are farming mid and bot, and nobody on the enemy team is farming top. You know, they're farming two lanes. We're farming three. So it should be good for us. Aurelia did roam and get a kill, though. But her roam is not as good as getting the waves would be. Trim out some of these melees. The wave is getting pretty big. Just going to keep holding this freeze. Trim out a couple casters. I think five casters. These five are good here. Let's go ahead and put a little shroom down there. See if she can break it. She does have a pickaxe now. Okay. Taking a lot of minions. One more auto. Ooh. Close. Go ahead and just pull this wave. Oh, Brand may kill me here. He is ghosted, so we're going to have to be quite care. Just tried to put damage on him. I don't know, he sees me with the sweeper, so maybe Kane can clean up, but I don't think so. Doesn't look like it anymore. He's no flash, so it's tough. Go ahead and buy boots. Get a blasting wand, wherever that is. I can't find my items anymore. Go back to top of lane. Run, Kennen! Run! Is he gonna walk into Irelia coming from base? Oh, I think his thing fizzled. Oh, oh eh, not too bad. That's okay. We got uh, Irelia's cleanse and flash there, though. And the wave is. This wave will unfreeze, you know, equal minions on both sides, but it'll slow push pretty hard. So I'm down to just stack it and let minions kill each other off. Yeah, this wave doesn't freeze anymore. That's gotta stay. You can see that this wave is coming in before uh, the red minions get in and start hitting, so that's why the wave unfreezes. Blue minions get to start doing damage before the red ones. What is going on over there? An enemy has been okay, since Irelia is fucking around and dying, that changes our plan to hard shoving. I'm just gonna keep pushing and get tower plates. I could move on this, but. I'm not guaranteed to get anything. Yeah, see if I was like moving, Tristan dies anyways. But here I'm guaranteed to get plates. Let's go ahead and start hitting minions now. If we shove this wave fast enough, get the next wave on the tower, we should be able to get one more plate and then put the wave into the middle. And the reason why we want to put the wave into the middle is because I really has to walk up to get minions from there. Just get a little bit of damage. She doesn't have um, Vamp Scepter yet, so she doesn't heal it up too well. So as you can see, these next waves, since that wave is on the tower, meets in the middle. So Irelia has to walk up to go get it. And then I walk at her. And I stat check her. Because my champ is broken and his champ is stinky. Could have done that better. But one thing that happened here is I really put a lot of damage on the wave, right? More minions, red minions and blue minions. So this wave will come into me. So I can just reset now. And if I really uh, also recalls right now, this wave is mine. Uh, but she's walking up. He wants to be dead, I guess. Okay, well, since I really is dead again, we'll go ahead and shove it. Get the crash with Shroom. Bounce it off again. And since we're so ahead, we can just keep fighting her over and over again. Um, probably don't get a plate here. Actually, I will greet for a plate. Just to make sure I get my item. 
Can I even get this plate though? Uh, maybe moving for Kane would have been better. Okay, we can't get the plates. We need to get the wave instead. Wish I had a shroom for it. My tempo is pretty bad here. But I'm trying to get my Nashers on this base really bad. I'd be quite happy to just give these grubs. Maybe my existence helps him, but I really need to buy. Get the Nashers tooth. If he can get some grubs, it's chill, but it's fine if he doesn't, I think. So Irelia, Irelia doesn't want my wave to be frozen, right? So she hard shoves it, which makes sense. Uh, it's the right thing to do in this situation. She shoved it so hard that this wave will die before these minions get there. So the wave will go back to the middle, neutral state. But I want to use my Nasher's power spike to actually join this fight if I can. Okay, it doesn't look like much of a fight happens, but... Okay, if she walks up to this wave, I will just walk at her as well. You know, wave in the middle is a bit difficult for Irelia to play it. See her in the river. Looks like she cancelled her recall to go mid. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get the dodge on that. Ah, Shaco top. Shaco actually did a lot of damage to me there. More than Irelia did. By one. You know, that's quite free. If I got the dodge on the E, maybe it's just completely free, but... Shut down. Damn. The Hail of Blades ghost ignite. Shaco doesn't fuck around. And he ignited me, so... Close, I guess. I'd like to have something more before going back to the lane, so... Guess that was my bad though, didn't uh... I got debated by Aurelia for the Shago support. Mm -mm -mm. It's okay. Just need Kane to get his form, and then his champ is quite good this game. Oh, the auto! Oh my god, how OP is Sona though? If Aurelia has Bork, it makes things a bit more difficult, but Aurelia is no flash, no ulti. So, should be okay. An ally has been I have more items than she does. Shaco is bottom. Let's go ahead and just shove this. I think I can potentially lose to Irelia if she's stacked. Damn, he hits me with the... Mmm, yeah, the cleanse diff. I guess I'm a bit behind now. Shouldn't be face tanking these Irelia E's though. I wanted the plate and I got it, but what are you buying, bro? Maybe Malignus works? Hmm. Okay, now she's no cleanse, so now we certainly win the fight. But back to, uh, back to top we go. Damn, she's worth a bounty? Bruh. Guess I threw this game, huh? Dying the one time, giving Irelia really my shutdown. You won't get her, it's a waste of time. If she recalls in that bush though, I'll get her. I'm down to try. Eh. It's a bit tough. She should have just kept running. She would have been out maybe. But I will take my shutdown back and I will take, hopefully, the first tower top. I really had no ulti. When we get back to lane, after buying, we should fight her again while she's still no cleanse. You know, take the uh, take this tower, take the next wave, reset, get a buy off, come back top, fight her. Well, we're not gonna get the next wave, but we did get the first tower. <laughs> Man, oopsies. Hopefully something good happens down here. Sona is getting some kills, very pog. Wow, that Jin. Oh my god, not the best gameplay by the lads. Oh man, Negatron Cloak, actually she's getting Wit's End. Hmm, could be a bit toughies. From here, if we get this dragon though, that's pretty nice. 
Uh, I don't really know what homie is cooking with the malignant's cogma, but hey. Just put that there in case I really is doing something fucking crazy. Who knows? If I get the jump on Irelia, I think I should win. But on the flip side of that, alright, I hate this game. Classic. I don't really want to fight her when she has minions around. You know, Irelia gets better when there are minions around. I see Kane pathing towards me. I can bait this. They'll probably see me kind of pushed up and want to come. Yeah. No? Not coming? Alrighty. Wow, our cleanse is back up. I thought it would still be on cooldown. What's the cooldown of this? The show's down there. 210. What's my ignite? 180? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm pretty low. Let's just go back, buy another mask. That's what the mask is. Mm -mm. Sona has died over there with a shutdown. Hmm. Or I think me and, um, well, I mean, I was going to say, you know, me and Kane, but I think it's mostly up to the blue Kane that's kind of fed to uh, carry this game. So can win. Ooh, maybe not. As Shaco is is solo killing everybody. What the fuck? He's the goat. What the hell? Big apples doesn't fuck around. I wonder why. Oh, yeah, I really is going wit's end. I don't want to fight her when she's stacked. She is no cleanse though. This should be pretty free for me. Just right clicker. Ah. I wonder where she learned the cleanse tech. It's actually really good against Teemo. If you're an Irelia player and you struggle versus the Teemo matchup, um, try taking cleanse. I played against an Irelia today on stream who didn't take cleanse, who took ignite, and it kind of rolled that guy. Hmm, their ball lane is 13 and 1 combined. That's okay, An though. Has been slain. They kind of have, like, a gimmicky ball lane low-key. Like, I bet the Shaker will fall off. Get this one away. I mean, I can rotate, but it looks like that's done, so, like, nothing's gonna happen. That's got a sting. Wait, fuck, is that guy ghosted? He is ghosted. Oh, he read me. Am I alive? Run! Oh! 444! Four, four. Fuck! I didn't even think about getting hit by that. XD! Man. Oh, I should have dodged it and I was out. Fuck! Just dodge. Just dodge, man. Just dodge. I've got my split persona putting in some work with the Blood Song. Is she gonna die right here? My son is a goat. <laughs> Can win, please, Cog. Get real items. I'll scout ahead. Is that a strat? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the Malignus Cogma. 135 damage dealt. Um, probably not that good, but... Oh, fuck, dude. There he is. Yes, sir. There he is. Tristana has overheal? Interesting. I take overheal on Kale. I can't tell if it's better than Presence of Mind, though. Get this canon. Very good. I am the highest level in the game. 
be slow about walking in. Do they have vision here? Hmm. Could maybe cheese Irelia. She's surely going to walk this way. But they do have vision. One interesting thing about pinks is we should kill this guy if he wants to die. Um, pinks, unlike minions, insta lose. Just wait for her stacks to go down. Click on her to see. Very good. Um, what was I saying? When you kill a control ward, the vision loss it drops immediately. But when you kill minions, the vision lingers. Try to kill this guy. The dragon kind of is difficult to do, so. Um, I think we can do it. I think we should be able to. All three of us? Yeah, we can do it in time. So you can just kill pinks, and then you don't have to worry about, like, uh, juking vision that's, like, lingering, like you do with minions. You know, kill a minion. If you want to go for a stealth play, like, let me exemplify really fast. So if I wanted to stealth play on this bot wave here, I'd push the bot wave, right? I'd channel recall, let the vision disappear, and then go and sit stealth, right? And they think I've recalled, because that's the last thing that they saw when the vision, like, th finished. But, um, with pinks, you don't have to do that. Oh, I wonder if that guy wanted to get me. Get our fourth mask. Dude, one thing that I think is kind of hidden OP with this, maybe not OP, oh, Ken is going bot? Hmm, I guess we have to kill her. We can do it, though. Um, is you actually do a lot of AD with this build, too, against people who are just stacking MR. Nice. Um, I'll just go ahead and group. Kenny can push bot. He uses ulti. He's not that useful anymore, so. Walkies my way up. Mm -mm -mm. What up, Jin? Sorry, Cog. I'd let you get more of those minions, but you are, uh. Quite fucking worthless. No! <laughs> He's over there. I can't really just let the Shago clone wail on me, I think. Aw, oh, dang. Vision has been given. I wanted to go for a sneaky. Close, actually, on that guy. Maybe Kane can clean this. Um, don't really know what that flash is about, Sona. But hey. That guy's dead. Very good. Nice. Ooh. Let's go get the worm. Very, very good. Hogma has noticed my haunting guys. Go ahead and put a shroom there. If Shaco support can somehow prevent us from getting this, I will be quite the impressed sweepies. Sweepy. Or if he steals it somehow, that would be quite impressive too. Nice, ooh, head back to the base. I think, I'm not positive, in a situation like this, with the Haunting Eyes build, getting Riftmaker next is better, because Riftmaker stacks up to 10%, whereas Leandre's stacks up to only 6% still. Even though Leandre's does have the dot on it, I think, uh, I think Riftmaker might be a bit better. Plus, we're, like, beefy as fuck with this build, so some Omni Vamp. That's good. That's good. Dude, I'm so tanky though. Holy fuck. Sup, bitch? I'll smell the head. See you later, bitch. Rampage. Welcome to non toxic. Have a main time stream? Today we're playing the poor mask rift maker auto auto Q ignite one shot persona build. I'm gonna go ahead and crank on this tower. Guess we have to watch out for Shaco showing up. Hey Shaco. What up, Kogma? Welcome to the uh hmm. 08 Kogma. And we're gonna win, maybe. 
Is 80 carry weak? Be careful, we don't have to be crazy. Let's just go to mid. Very good, very good. You know, get these inhibs. And now the right thing to do is all reset, spend our dollars, and go top. You know, they can fuck around in their base if they want, but we should reset here. It's the, it's like, so, we can maybe just pressure this, but the, uh, like, the guarantee to win tryhard play is to reset, so that's why I went ahead and did it. Are you gonna flash ulti? You don't even need to. Oh, it looks like they have some AFK gamers. That, that explains it. Kog'Maw on the board. Dude, fuck yeah, dude. Tell them GG. It was looking a little bit dicey, but, uh, you know, their shake of support gimmicky thing did kind of fall off. Um, picked up some kills here and there, you know. Sona. Quite the scaling champ. Blue Cane, quite the scaling champ. I'm gonna give it to my Blue Cane. We are one win away from Diamond 1 on Sweepies. Let's go ahead and take a look at the damage dealt really fast. Uh uh uh. The biggest dinky. Wow. Well, I mean, dude, I always say that this Jin Champ is bad, and this guy was 9 and 3 and did less damage than my 1 and 8 AP Kogma, so. Hmm. There's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's commentary video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh wait, did I say what time it was at the beginning of the video? Oh fuck, I think I don't I think I didn't. Okay, well currently now it is 9:25 p.m. January 28th, 2024, and I've been recording for 27 minutes. So that's it. Okay, bye guys. Love you guys.